Hello, my fellow omnipresent antihistamines. I'm Mr. Church. Today we're going to be building right here in White Springs on the green. And if you don't know where that is, it's time to go look around the map a little bit. Today, let's we're, we're going to start off with a blueprint, which is going to allow us to merge two foundations together in such a way that is never before seen except for somewhere else. Let's start off with two foundations put together, make a doorway of some kind. I'm going to choose to use, uh, uh, let's do this one. Why not? Why not? Why would you? And what you're going to do is you're going to pull the, um, the one that's on this side so that the outside of the, the wall is facing you like that. Now you're going to take this half wide catwalk. It's, it's the size of half a floor and that will allow you to snap directly away. If you don't have the catwalk, just shimmy over a half a floor, but you will need the catwalk later on in this build. So uh, yeah, that's fine. Now blueprint all this, not the catwalk though. Um, I've already got it down. It's called the double floor. So I'm gonna store this and I'm gonna show you what that looks like when I've placed it down. Let's see here, where are we? Uh, there it is. And uh, I'll just slap it down. Now today I will be getting um, a lot of oppression from some fellow content creators. As you can see, they're sitting over there judging my work and uh, it gets a lot more um, abrasive later on. If I found that if you use this blueprint on uneven terrain, sometimes it locks up and becomes uh, counter supportive, meaning you will not be able to delete shit and that's not good you don't want that so i'm i chose this location because it's an incredibly flat location and also because i'm building a modern house you know and that's never been done before and i thought it would be a good idea for the community to see what that would look like if someone did that and also if if this location has also never been used before so i thought i would also build a modern house in this location it's a sweet combo no one's seen it before and no one's done it now these are just these little defensive posts and i've blueprinted two together just so i can stack them uh quicker and i'm gonna put them on the corners and drag them out a little bit these are going to be like cornerstone bits on the uh, exterior of the build um i saw reasonable madness doing this in one of her videos and of course i have always been a firm believer in stealing other people's work especially when you take that design and you make it somehow worse or practically unusable now this will of course uh not be quite stealing because i accidentally credited her but I'll, I'll remember to forget mysteriously to leave that out next time that i steal her content now, you're going to take your flame trap, which you can only obtain through Abby's bunker quest, and burn the fuck out of these posts. You only need to burn the bottom one because the top one will go into disappear -y land as soon as it's gone. And now you can take any wall that you choose because we can have the replace option now that they gave us that ability back. That was a great ability. And I'm just going to go around with doorways. I always build in doorways. If I ever need to delete something underneath it, it just makes it a lot easier because they are allowed to float again. Um, thank you. Uh, also, what you're going to do here is the fireplace is going to be here. So what I'm doing is I've built uh, this here and we're going to burn that roof. And so let's just put something down that we can stack this on. That'll get it up on the right level. Get rid of that. And now we'll be able to snap a stair through that. And um, let's just throw some walls up like that. Now you have this weird looking structure after that is finished. And we're gonna put the um, upper floor on after the lag finishes happening. So again, I'm just working in doorways, uh, just makes it easier. And also if you ever want a double wall, it's already ready to double wall, no worries there. And we're gonna go around and we're gonna double wall only the top floor. When this is all said and done, that'll allow the top to kind of have a nice little uh, sticking outy look, which is a really nice feature because we want this to appear to have cladding, which of course would stick out from the build quite a bit if you 
have ever seen a house in your life. Now, in all seriousness, I know that I am sort of known for my immersive builds, and um, as I've been saying and screaming incessantly to the random and poor people in, in, in area chat that have come by and watched in horror as I built this, if you think that I'm just going to build one type of build and do one thing on my channel, well, you can't put me in a box! I, I, I have, you know, the ability... Uh, to choose free will has been given to me and I'm using that in this one scenario to create something that I wanted to do so it is a cool feature that human beings have um, so I thought I would try it out for once now you'll have this and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna replace these two with the glass walls and these two with the concrete and uh, this corner here glass and this corner glass. So there'll be like kitty corners of glassness. Um, and just I'll just go through and replace like so. And of course, that'll be fine. What we're gonna do now is uh, I'm gonna just stack up the rest for these for this uh, fireplace chimney thingy. We're going through for an industrial modern look um, because that's very immersive. Honestly, Bethesda really wants us to build clean houses, which confuses me because they're so worried about breaking immersion and having us use all these cool techniques. Uh, you know, when I say cool, I mean horrific that make us want to pull our eyeballs out with spoons like Samson in the Holy Scriptures. If you can hear sirens in the background, don't worry about that. That's the police. Um, well, we all know why. And so, uh, as you can see, we're going to have to actually delete some of the stuff we've already done as other people laugh at us for our failures, as they usually do. Because in order to put the, the stairway down, we need some space for these catwalks to kind of hang out over this way. And what we're going to do is we're going to put that there but it's 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 confused because of course the foundation is down there and that's fine because all we have to do is delete all our work so yeah if you're if you're actually like following this for a tutorial keep this back corner unfinished until you put the stairs in because you're gonna have to move those two these two foundations anyway and you don't want to have to do that post twice because it's annoying and once that's down you can get rid of the catwalks and it'll flow independently for now until Bethesda realizes we are allowed to do that and changes it because it's affecting no one, hurting nobody, and ruining not one thing in the game. Uh, I think that it does help us build, you know, better builds. And usually if there's some kind of thing you can do that allows you to improve your builds, uh, that's what's going to get nerfed first or patched out first. Um, but God forbid we are able to fast travel to an event before it ends. Um, because it, it just kicks us back out into the game now and then oh yeah we can't we can't put these doorways in if there's an upper floor above it that that's a new feature um, you can put the, the the windows in but not the doorways the doorways don't want to go in anyway um, yeah so back to the previous rant that I interrupted for a secondary rant about uh, Bethesda wants us to make clean builds However, I don't really understand why they don't, like, either lean into one or the other. Either you want us to make immersive builds, and therefore you're going to give us some, like, scrappy stuff for the Atom Shop, or you're going to want us to build clean builds, and in that case, why are we forced to have all these workarounds for everything to look realistic? Um, for this... I did speed up the porch. I will note you need to put the upper floor on before you snap that porch underneath it. That's the order of operations there. We are now able to fix that upper roof. What that does is it just it blocks off that chimney area very nicely so you don't see the stairs that are holding everything up. Uh, and then we're going to burn these. This will create a nice little threshold and some pillars holding everything up. And so some idiots can come through and repair your walls and block off half your house. It's a really good feature. I like it. Um, it's nice. 
But yeah, um, anyway, you have to snap those upper floors on the front porch before you put the porch pieces down. It's just how, how it goes. And I'm going to make a little back patio now. Um, no modern build is complete without at least 17 poles or a little back patio, I think. And I didn't want to use poles because they're rusty. And that's another point. Uh, you can either have like some clean stuff and then like staples that are crap. Like though all the workbenches in the game look like shit which is fine for scrappy builds, but if we're actually like supposed to be making modern and nice clean builds like The Sims, which I think we are since we're always given stuff like that in the Atom Shop, uh, it must it must be the case that uh, we'll be given some clean workbenches that don't look like workbenches. Maybe they look like a sewing machine or, a, a, you know what? That's a good point. What would you even make it be? And then over here, uh, Lobby decided he wanted to be the star of the show. I told him, no, I'm building a chimney stopper so Santa can't get in. He got upset. Um, I don't know why. The man just, he, well, both of these people here on the roof at this time, they, they just ruined the whole, they ruined it. If my channel tanks it'll be the, their fault and i told them that which of course only encouraged them to do it more they thought it was hilarious um and that's fine um I, you what you just saw was me sinking a tree down so that it would be in the soil but i need to interrupt this real quick to tell you if you want power in your building you're going to want to put down a generator and then you take a conduit, so this is a conduit, and you put it on the wall. And then you would, you would, what you would do after that is attach wires to it. I'm not going to show you how that can be a mystery. Um, maybe it's not even possible, I don't know. Um, it's really, really tricky, I don't know. Also, here's another quick tip. If you're trying to uh, make a flat screen TV, I didn't come up with this. I've seen it done by many people, including Khalil Smooth and Stolia Sweet Roll. I don't know who came up with it, to be honest. But if you know, why don't you crucify me about it in the comments section? Uh, maybe that could be a fun game we do. That's always enjoyable. I love waking up to that. So what you can do is take the camp module um, and you're going to put it up high so that I can actually put this on. And then I'm going to put this on here. And when I do that, it's going to snap the thing down which of course pops the thing above it, higher up. I know those words make sense if you put them in order. You can either mix them up and they'll probably make just as much sense. But what we're gonna do is this will allow us to put this up against the wall here for this flat screen TV look. It looks like it could go up one more pop, uh, which is fine. And then you just put it in front of the TV. You can do this with other stuff. But the reason I use these boxes as I wanted it to look like we had some boxes with kindling and whatnot over by the fireplace getting ready to go. Here is another fun trick. Now, I was told by one of my uh, patrons, uh, Lanthar, that if you put a, a mannequin on one of these pressure plates, It'll activate it the same way you standing on it activates it because the game actually has those coded as NPCs. And that's really helpful for when you're trying to stack shit with a merge technique and you don't want to stand directly on top of it. Just have one of these guys stand on it for you and then you can just, you can kind of stand back and see what you're doing a little better as you do the drop merge. Now, you can also hook a wire up to it, but that always breaks when I'm trying to do that it just stops working halfway through and it makes me angry and basically anything that can make me angry isn't something that I continuously do oh wait I'm playing Fallout 76 never mind everything I just said forget about the mannequin why don't you do it the worst way that you can I mean you're watching this video so I know you also are a masochist of some kind 
so you must enjoy some deal of frustration and pain. I mean, you're listening to me talking. You've been listening for 15 minutes. This has got to be painful to some degree. I apologize deeply. Now, I'm going to leave that mess there because it's fun. Let's take a look at the finished product. Now, as you can see from this angle, and now that it's not raining and dark, it doesn't look too bad. You can make a really nice modern house here on the green, and it doesn't look like it's a Fallout universe at all, which of course is not immersive in the least. However, you know, given the surroundings here, it does match the vegetation, the joyfulness, and the, the, the peace of mind that we feel when we're playing, um, you know, such a fun game with so few challenges. So, as you can see from this angle, there is a really nice uh, chimney uh, look, and then I have that uh, little skylight roof thing. It's, it's open on the sky, so the sky, the window for the sky, to just forget about it. Now, let's look over here uh, at this bush that I just showed you how to do, you know, in case you forgot. And inside, I've got the little area to sit at. I think that's called a kitchen. No, it's called a dining room. Then we have fruit bowls. Th those are basically just bowls with fruit in them. And then uh, over here, I've decorated with shag carpet just because I also hate it, but I have to use it because it was free in the Adam shop one time. And I, I'm determined to make it look good one day in some way or shape or form. And this is a good example of what I was talking about with the whole workshop thing. If you look around this build, very clean. Oh my god. Now we've got like TNG jumping up and down outside. He's just desperate to come in. But like if you see over here, I had to make like a little dirty workshop space to match the uh, uh, weapons workbench. Because in this tinkered bench. Because it doesn't match, it doesn't match the entire build. And your alternative is putting everything in the shelters which that's a four hour load screen if you're on PlayStation. It's not bad on PC. Um, I'm not sure how it is on Xbox, but PlayStation servers are not good. Unless you have a PS5, then you're okay. But I mean, given that you can't buy them in any store around here, I'm gonna say that probably not the majority of PlayStation users have one. So maybe that's something that could be addressed. So people have a chance to play and they don't have to look at a load screen for 16 years of their life. Let's look out back on the patio. We've got a nice little uh, burn thing, which is for burning the fire with, the fire of burning. This nice metal picnic table, beautiful. I love Meat Week because you can farm Graham and get all this stuff. Anyway, I just wanna say thank you so much to my patrons. Um, if you made it this far to the video, hit that like button in the face. And uh, if you like what you're seeing, uh, consider subscribing. I mean, someone's got to, right? I mean, no, no, that's not even true. Um, but I will be watch, I mean, I will see you in the next video.